thanks for joining me everyone for another beer review. Uh, next one up is one of my German ones that I've got out of the beer or box. Uh, I've had this before. Again, had it in Berlin, I think. At the time, wasn't doing beer reviews. It was just, just a case of drinking a beer and enjoying it for what it was really without trying to pick anything out. So the next beer up is a big, big branded German beer. Uh, I think, Christ, there'll be a lot of people that know this one. And it's a bottle of a... Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so I do apologise. Uh, this is a bottle of Jiva Pilsner, or Jiva Pilsner. 500ml bottle coming in at 4.9%. Like I said, I've had this before. Uh, it's going back about four years now. only had one bottle of it. Uh, I don't think it was horrible. It was, I'd, I'd be very surprised if it wasn't very really good, but it wasn't something that I uh, sort of took much notice of, really. I just knew it tasted all right, I think. Uh, so, yeah. So there's the old label, bit boring I think, not a label that I like, but I quite like the same design on the bottle cap, I do like saying a little bit different on the bottle cap, I hate these plain boring ones, they get a bit boring. Uh, you can probably, like I said, this come in a box, it was 15 beers for 35 quid, you can probably somewhere pick these up for somewhere around the 250 mark, you put an eye on getting a pint in there, so uh, you know, even without even trying it and even having a good think about it, the chances are this is going to be half decent. It's going to be worth the 250. Now I don't have a Jiva glass or Yiva glass, so I've got a Carlsberg Pilsner one. The beer's shit, but I do like the glass. So uh, let's get this beer out. Get on with this Friday night and let's get on with some beer drinking. Hope you're all well. Can I just give a big shout out actually? Uh, Saint I was going to do at the start of the video. And typical usual stuff, I end up going on a fucking magical mystery tour around what I'm supposed to be saying. Big shout out to Chris's Beer Reviews. Subscribe to the guy. I tell you what, I can't believe this man only has the subscri subscribers that he has on his channel. Because I've watched him a few times and, and he is suited to it. He really does a good job. I've said to him in uh, a comment on one of his videos that I love watching Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews. Uh, would love to be able to review like Dean uh, and for me Chris has got that similar sort of style to him and he's really enjoyable to watch so if you like if you like watching the beer reviews check Chris's beer reviews out he's, he's a good bloke down to earth and his reviews are just simple really simple nothing too major he gets on with it he doesn't do all this shit I'm doing now he actually gets on with the review so uh, yeah give him a sub give him some support top man anyway Right, there is a little bit left in the bottle. We'll go back to that in a bit. So, in a glass, look at the carbonation. This is nucleated glass. Uh, that carbonation is absolutely buzzing. Uh, fully expected that anyway, to be honest. Uh, it's golden, it's clear, as you can see my ugly mush. Look at that, you can see my ugly mush through the glass there. Really attractive. We've got a finger and a half of quite spacious white head on top. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. A little bit of skunkiness in there for me. A little bit of spiciness, but I'm definitely getting a little bit of skunkiness in there. Which does surprise me. Very sort of spicy pepperiness, but yeah, there is a skunkiness in there. So on the nose, a little bit of breadiness maybe as well. Just picking up hints of breadiness in there. But a little disappointing that there's a bit of skunkiness in there. Not saying I'm used to expecting from a German beer. Green bottle, I suppose, it could happen. It does happen. So, uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Let's get this beer down as soon as it's Friday. Cheers, everyone. There is, I think... There is an inkling, an inkling of skunkiness in the taste of this one. I don't imagine it's going to be with every bottle. This is not what they, you know, you don't tend to get this with German ones. But we'll go in again. Let's try and ignore that sort of skunkiness I'm picking up. Yeah, it's hard to ignore it. I'm getting a breadiness in there. 
The body seems quite good. First thing that hits me. Definitely getting a bit of skunkiness in there. The body seems quite good. I'm getting a, a, a slight sweet breadiness in there. Getting a big bitterness. And I think the bitterness, again, that skunkiness is coming through on it for me. It's well carbonated. It's well, I say it's well carbonated. It's well carbonated for a German lager. Uh, you don't get the impression with all the bubbles that are, are coming up. You're certainly not getting that feeling of it in you. Uh, it's certainly not like if you're drinking something English that's just you may as well just chuck a fucking. I don't know, a CO2 canister in there or something. It's not like that. Uh, it, it's, it's certainly not as carbonated as it looks. Mm. Very bitter. Well, it's got quite a big bitter, bitter pepperiness to it. Well, it's not even the pepperiness. It's got a, a hoppy. It's very, very hoppy. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, the, the the bitterness is a is a hot bitterness for me. As I say, and I keep going back to it, for me there's a skunkiness in there. There's a little bit of a skunkiness in there, but it's very hoppy. It's got a big hoppy bitterness in there. There's a little bit of sweet bready malt sort of taste to it. But unfortunately, the one thing that I can pick up in this one, and I'm certain it's not going to be every single beer, uh, every single one of their bottles of beer, but I'm getting the skunkiness in it. Uh, so, so really, on, on this review of this bottle, the skunkiness kills it for me straight away, personally. Excuse me. Uh, the gas is starting to come up so it's clearly a, a bit more carbonated than I thought uh, what do I think of it yeah it's a beer and it's all right but but for me it's it's just that little bit even ignoring the skunkiness side of it It's just that little bit rough around the edges compared to some of the other uh, the other German beers I've had and the other German Pilsners. Uh, for me, it's probably one of the worst ones I've had. One of the one of the worst out of the ones I've had. Uh, is it the worst beer ever? No, it's 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 not the worst beer ever. Uh, even with the skunkiness, it's not the worst beer ever. Without the skunkiness, uh, it would improve it. But it wouldn't improve it enough for me to say, my God, this is a belter, you need to go out and try this. Because, yeah, for me, it's just, it's 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 one of the lower end ones for me. From my experience of drinking this, I'm probably going to get slated on this. But from this bottle that I'm drinking today... That is a little bit disappointing, uh, and if I had if I if I had to drink it, I'd drink it. But if I had other options, uh, this wouldn't be one I would pick up. If I'm brutally honest, uh, so so yeah, a little bit of a surprise, a little bit of a disappointing review, really. Uh, but it goes to show, even sometimes I suppose the Germans can get a lager wrong or not as good as what you sort of hope or expect from them so for me a little bit of a disappointment thumbs down let me know what you think if you've had this pilsner before i will finish it but it's just got that little bit of a tang to it which uh i'm not overly enjoying if i'm totally honest but uh but yeah that's it for this beer review so sorry for going on so much i've repeated myself 20 odd times thanks for watching everyone uh, much appreciated to all the new subscribers 
all the ones that just want to post porn, you can piss off because I've had enough of deleting you. And uh, I'll see you again on another beer review very soon. Cheers, everyone.